I'm going to walk you through going into Qualtrics. Some of you have done this in class, others have not, but in case you need a reminder on how to figure it out. So first, we see up here in the top, it's Penn State, one word, dot Qualtrics, dot com. From here, I, we need to log in. For those who already logged in in class, it should work just fine. Those who have not logged in before, it will ask you if this is the first time you logged in, which you have. So now we come to our screen here, and you will have, depending on what class you're in, you should either see Adult Development or HDFS 312W. Going into your survey, those in class have already entered some of the information. I want to be sure that we understand what's going on here. So scroll down and each of you should have your own section. Here's happiness, that would be for one of the students. Here we have college drinking is a new heading and the questions below it. What I want you to do is to add title. See here this one I added, are you currently registered to vote? And I labeled it vote. Here the person who has college drinking, how often do you have a drink containing alcohol is just question 25. But if you click there, um, you could do CD for college drinking, you could do drink one, because you have multiple drinking questions, but go ahead and label it, label that one, because when we put these into SPSS, these numbers right here are what you're going to see, and it's going to be hard to know what Q30 is, but if it's labeled something you'll understand more intuitively, it will help you out then. If there's anyone who has not yet added their items, you do that over here. At the bottom of any grade, you see create new item, but what you click on is add block. When you click on add block, a new block will show up. Right here, block 15. There you would put in if you are religiosity or whatever your topic is, is what you're going to enter there. Then you would click create new item and down here, it gives you multiple choices. The first idea, those of you who have already entered may have mostly multiple choice. And if that's correct, that's fine. But if you come over here to the side, you see that you can do different types. Here we have a matrix table, a slider, um, text entry. This is if you have to have number entry too. My question about how old you are is a text entry. So select the one that best fits what your questions look like. If you have a, let's come back over to this side of the screen. If you have one here, we have relationship quality that has multiple lines. Um, and we might be worried that they, these headings are too far away. We click on the question and that shows up over here again. And here we have under options, we have repeat headers. We click on that and it opens up this down here. We can click middle, which will give us one more. We could do both, giving us in the top, the middle, and the bottom. This way, uh, as people are filling it out, they will have a better idea of what the options were for them to pick from. So you see we have this one done here already. Now some of you need to add still the, the heading. If you go back to your questionnaire, there should be what we call a stem. A stem is the beginning part that introduces it. This should say something about, um, next I'm going to ask you some questions about 
uh, gender or about, I'm not sure what it says in this uh, one, but it should have some things in there. And I've noticed many of you are missing that, that stem there. Um, many of you have done a great job at putting in the note with your citation here so I know where you got the information from. Here again, here's my example that, of diet behaviors and I labeled it diet. So please go through and take some time to fix up some of these issues and uh, we will make sure to get things straightened out in class as well. For those who have not added your reference here, you click on your question setting and then over here again back on the right hand side there's add note click on add note and a text box opens up for you to be able to write in the reference section for your measure